doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, man, I am happy to see you on a Friday because you definitely give me a lot of energy. Folks, oh, I want to introduce you guys to Coach Georgie, Miss Determined Herself. Um, <laughs> if y'all have been following me, you've been seeing a lot of her workout posts that I've been sharing with you. I wanted to have a, a discussion with Coach Georgie today specifically about um, being in a space of um, our physical wellness. You y'all hear me talk a lot about mental and emotional wellness and the component of physical wellness is such an important part of the journey um, that I wanted us to, to kind of come together and have this discussion. So Georgie, tell tell our crew, you know, our peeps a little bit about yourself and and you know, and then we could just dive right in. Sure. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Aqua, for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, connect and um, you know experience this with you and your base. Um, this is definitely unchartered times, and we absolutely all. Uh, need to lean on each other in any capacity that we can just to be able to make it through. So I'd say for the better part of my life, I was a runner, um, you know, running for, you know, elementary, high school. Um, and then even after getting married, born and raised in New York, um, in Long Island, and then kind of moved away, came back to the area uh, and, and landed in Queens once I decided to get married and, and uh, take that next chapter of my life, still running. Um, but when we moved out of the state into New Jersey, running just did not cut it for me anymore. Um, had the opportunity to move into a different type of a program which required a change in my eating, required a change in my commitment, required a change in the time of day that I would be working out and, and required some personal sacrifices that um, you know I was willing to do, but even as I went into them, I still wasn't 100% sure I was ready for that commitment. So there definitely was a um, amount of jumping out on faith. In 2018, I had the opportunity to um, pursue my National Association of Sports Medicine certification as a personal trainer and started pursuing my passion to help others in this way. So here we are, the business is almost two years old um, and you know, continuing to grow and develop uh, in, in new ways. And definitely during this time of the pandemic, um, there's a place for it and fitness and wellness, physical wellness is, is absolutely important, not only for cardiovascularly, but mentally, right? And so okay. um, here we are. So, so let me get this straight. You, so you've always been engaged. You were an athlete first, right? Correct. So, you know, did you, were you like a college athlete or you just enjoyed running and you did it recreationally? How, how what was your relationship with like working out? Cause I know when I think about it, I'm like, I have this like very love hate relationship. Sometimes I'm like, I'm all in it. I'm a hundred percent. I get really like focused and motivated. And then I'm just like, I can't even think about, you know, wanting to do I don't even want to walk. I want to sit in front of the couch. That's all. so like, so I'm trying to figure out where did your relationship begin with physical fitness and athletics and working out? And has this been just like a long journey for you? Or were you always like, I'm in it to win it, you know? Wow. That's a really um, good question. And you're putting me on the spot, but that's okay. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah. I... I hated running. I hated going to track practice. Uh, I ran one year in college, um, and you know that was it. I ran all through high school, and then the one year in a in a Division three school. I never loved the training. Mm. I would get anxiety. I would be nauseous. I would visualize the end of my race. Oof. I would visualize the end of the meet and how I would feel 
traveling home on the bus afterward and that feeling of release and accomplishment that has not necessarily changed. I mean, I did have the opportunity to run, you know, some long races in, in my life, but it really has been the afterward that would say, wow, I can't believe that I bet on myself and um, made it through that. So to answer your question really quickly, I never really enjoyed it. It's in my later life that I've kind of realized how much I do love the outcome but while i'm in a class yeah i'll curse <laughs> i will say this is the worst thing ever i may laugh i may dance but i don't always love it yeah yeah that yeah. that's such an important part of it because the mental um commitment that you have to have to stick with it is is no joke right like right it, it's it's it has to almost be something that's beyond yourself that you know that it is feeding your body what it needs for it to be healthy um you know by engaging in some kind of physical movement you know and getting that heart pumping and getting those endorphins going um yes. so so you almost have to really think outside of like what the the whole process is how do you get yourself from the couch to like a workout what like can you walk us through <laughs> what, here we are in the middle of this pandemic ain't nobody could go outside you can't hit a gym you can't take a, a zumba class how do i get myself rip myself off the couch and netflix <laughs> watching me and me watching it and, and yeah. get into some movement yeah that's a that's a fair question um if we just talk about tomorrow, right? Yes. Or we replay I'm today. I'm committing to tomorrow. <laughs> let's, let's, re let's talk about tomorrow. Um, find something you enjoy. Okay. If it's Zumba, if it is a favorite instructor that you follow, um, some people like to see a printed workout. They can pick up that sheet of paper and they can go and do that. Um, some folks like to look at a video on YouTube. Some people like to actually log in and follow a Facebook or IG live right. um, class. Some people like to be in Zoom. So think about and visualize what feels engaging and entertaining for you first and foremost, okay. and plan that out the night before, right? Um, okay. Lay so your like clothes out. Okay. Lay your clothes out, put your clothes out on your dresser. And I mean, shorts, sports bra, t-shirt, underwear, lay it out on your dresser. Um, perhaps you want to get up and shower before you even start training just to clear your mind and set the tone for what you are about to do. I know some people that will sleep in their workout clothes, just to make sure that when they get up, there is no question about what's supposed to happen in the coming hours. Listen, by any means necessary. 100%. <laughs> I yeah. hear you. <laughs> yeah. So definitely being prepared and, and I'm, it's not lost on me the difficulty in doing that, right? Mm. So um being ready when you're ready so maybe tomorrow is too much of a tall order but you can say monday i'm gonna get this going right i'm gonna get my clothes aside i'm gonna figure out what type of training i'm going to do whether i'm printing out i'm following a class i'm joining a zoom i'm gonna plan that out and then figure out your time of day okay. right mm -hmm. um it's interesting when you lay out everyone that's home now and we're all working from home aside from our essential workers and my heart and my energy goes out to those that are having to leave their families every day to be able to do the good work that we need right. um but with everything happening in your home you actually may have more control over your day than you think you do right right you don't have to commute either to or from work. You can't really step outside the house to go have lunch. Mm -hmm. So 
if you're having a leftover from the night before for lunch, then maybe that frees up your noon time to be able to get your workout in. Even as a trainer, um, I'm realizing that for me, at 5.30, 5 o'clock has been a better time for me to get my workouts in and doing those live, I'm doing it with the community. I can't see everyone, but we're there together after the work day has passed. So consider your time of day when you have the most control over your schedule. If it's five in the morning, if it's noon, if it's five at night, if it's eight at night, right? Well, when you can be able to fit that in. That sounds great. And, and how do you then create habit? That's the other thing. Cause sometimes I'm like a one and done. I'm like, Oh, I did it. <laughs> I got on that Peloton and I did that 45 minute class. And then you won't catch me on a Peloton for another year. So, you know, um, that I think, or I tend to be a, um, a competition type of person like, Oh, I'm going to run this 5k or I'm going to do this particular thing. And boy, once I'm done with that, I'm like, oop, done, check off my list. And, and I cannot get back into the routine of my training because mentally I'm a very like task oriented person. So I'm just like, I did everything I needed to do to run my 10K and now I'm finished. And now I don't have to, I'm, I don't have any other competitions right now. So I'm, I prefer not to, or I don't know. I just fall off. It's not, I don't even think it's conscious. It's, it's really interesting. That's why I say I have a real weird relationship with it because I just, it just falls off. That's it. Right. Um, that's, How do you that's create a habit. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a fair point. And I think, I mean, you're the doctor, I'm not, but I, I think they've said like 10 days can create a habit. Um, I've heard three days, but you know, when I went through that transition from just being a runner to focusing more on um, my nutrition and my fitness together, um, we were around the 10 day, three week mark, believe it or not. So first and foremost, set realistic goals. Mm -hmm. Even those of us that go down that journey, we stick to it. And then there are some times that we fall off. Right? right so that is just kind of a part of you learning um and feeling your way through this experience right i would also just go really deep internally and choose yourself honor yourself okay we will make sure that you know an aging family member makes it to a doctor a significant right. other has, you know, I don't know, a blood pressure machine so that they can check their blood pressure on a nightly basis. We will leave a call early to go get to the drugstore to have that device at the house so that our, you know, spouse or significant other can check this, this level at night. Our children need to make it to, you know, an orthodontist appointment or work has some requirement or you're part of a, another civic organization. We do all these things but at some point, we need to realize that we are worth it and we honor ourselves first and foremost. The second thing is exercise is proven to prevent, postpone, and treat health conditions. So figure out how you're wired, right? You might be wired by you know, the competitive nature of working out, being in a class, and wanting to be your friend, I have clients that I train them together and it's really about them annihilating each other and it's hilarious, right? I don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, you might be more uh, cranial, right? And you just wanna know what is the science behind why I should work out? I'm tired, how am I possibly gonna work out? Well, if you're not increasing your blood flow and your circulation, guess what? Oxygen's not going to get where it needs to go, and you're going to be tired. Right. So um, figure out where you are in terms of what you might need in order to better educate you and help understand your relationship with physical fitness. And it is for the long term. It is. It's a lifestyle. It's not just about. I mean, we we all know. I mean, we we want to look a certain way. We want to feel a certain way. We're all our worst critic, myself included. 
But at the end of the day, especially now when we're looking around in this pandemic mm-hmm. and immune systems are compromised, yes. um, you know, those who already had pre existing conditions like a high blood pressure or diabetes, yes. give yourself a fighting chance now. Yes. You're looking around at others that are now in this situation and all they can do is get help from the doctors. If that's not your story right now, act now before that can be your story, right? I love that. So not just about competing, but just over time, you want your heart to be stronger. You want oxygen flowing better. You want to keep your body you know, mass index at a careful ratio so that you can actually move around and be comfortable in, and not put yourself at risk. I love that. I mean, that that's that's a mental motivator for sure, you know. And so, you know, from a from a psychological perspective, what we usually say is that it takes 21 days to build habit. And if you think okay. about it, we're on day what 18 of this pandemic. So, had you started from day one, you would be already creating habit around this. And um, you know. Uh, at least for right now, what we're hearing is that social distancing has to continue till uh, April 30th, which means you still got time to get your 21 days in, right? Absolutely, you do. And uh, 30 minutes a day, five okay. days a week is minimally what is being recommended. Okay. Um, you can throttle your intensity if you are literally, like you said, going from the couch to just starting don't go crazy, right? Don't don't set your expectations to where you're doing an Ironman in 30 minutes, right? Like you don't need to do that, but just doing something for 30 minutes, five days a week, or if you just need to start with three or four days, will be amazing and will benefit you, absolutely. And like you said, we have a lot more time in terms of um, physical distance, distancing, right? Um, social distancing doesn't mean we disconnect from one another. You and I are communicating. We're seeing each other in Mm -hmm. this way. We just physically can't be with each other like we would like to. So, um, it's an opportunity to bet on yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, it's an opportunity to, you know, think back to maybe one of your last accomplishments that you had a difficult time and you ended up pushing through that. You made that decision that I'm eager to work, I have willpower, and I'm determined to reach this goal. And this is exactly the same way. Well, I'll tell you what, you have inspired me to, to, get, to get moving, to get my engine running. And I'm going to make a personal commitment to you and publicly to everyone else that oh, tomorrow, <laughs> all right, you, see, you see how I'm holding myself accountable here? Tomorrow, I will start my 30 minutes a day um, and stop filling myself with excuses about why I can't and why I shouldn't and what else can take over that time. I mean, honestly, I really can find 30 minutes to, to do um, a workout. I can follow you, um, you know, on IG and Facebook and, and engage in one of your workouts. I can go for a walk outside. Um, right. you know, I can do a number of different things. Um, you watch some yoga videos or whatever, Absolutely. um, that, that gets my blood flowing. So, so I'm just going to recap a couple of the highlights that you said, and please throw anything in before we close up. So 30 minutes a day, five days a week is what's recommended. You had a several strategies. If you want to get this jump started right now during the, the time that you're home, um, and something that you could probably do with your family too. Um, if you have kids Absolutely. at home, um, plan it out. What's it going to look like? Number one, lay it out, get your clothes together and make sure that, you know, either you're sleeping in it or sleeping next to it or something. So plan it out and lay it out. Um, maybe you need to take a shower to wake you up, um, in the morning or beforehand just to clear your mind and set your intention. Um, Correct. being prepared for, you know, for whatever um, type of uh, class or, or physical activity you're going to engage on and set a goal for training. Um, you know, what time of day works better for you and the kind of, uh, you know, are you a morning person or, or evening person? 
So what time of day works best for you and committing to that time of day. Anything else you want to leave to our community before, before, now you can follow her. Please tell them where they can follow you and how they can, you know, um, engage in your workouts and, and also how they can contact you if they're interested in some virtual coaching or connecting with you at a, at a um, you know, in a more personal sort of level. Sure. So I would, the last thing I would add to um, the tips is, you know, if you have one or two people that you can kind of flag as your accountability partner, um, maybe they're going to go through this with you. They're starting as well. Um, and you guys just, just text. You don't have to over um, engineer what this looks like, but you know, just say, I'm hoping tomorrow I get up as planned and I get this done, right? Um, so being able to do that. And then in terms of where I am um, from social property standpoint, I am on Instagram and that is under I am Georgie Ariano. Uh, so you can definitely try to follow me there. Um, you can instant message me there. I'm also on Facebook and that's under G-K-G-A-R-I-A-N-O. Uh, so you can follow me there and message me there as well. Um, during this time frame, I'm offering a number of live free classes. I feel like um, it, it is what I can do in terms of um, what we're all going through socially. So you know, feel free to reach out uh, if you have any questions, any way that I might be able to help. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to speak to the base, Dr. Aqua. Absolutely. And I'll put all that information too when, when we post this um, so that folks could, you know, get your information. Thank you so much for being here and for sh dropping the, those nuggets of wisdom. Um, I feel inspired and fired up. And now you're my accountability buddy because I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to have to talk to you later on this week and be like, I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So folks get up, get moving, get healthy. Um, and you know, um, we, we can really get through this together. We, I believe in our community and I'm, I'm happy that we had this chance, this chance to um, talk with y'all about this. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We're resilient. Stay determined, everyone. All right.